Karim! Karim! Let go of me! Brother, I need to get some writing paper. You keep asking for paper. What are you doing? One feels better when he's writing. Huh. So do you think you can ask them that? I, I need some paper. Okay, right, I will. We have a new guest here today. He'll stay in the fourth ward. You can get some fresh air. Get moving, walk around. You'll be here a while. Yes, sir. Hey, Erdogan. Wait, where are you going? Come here. What's going on? Oh, it's nothing. We're just very old friends. Aren't we, Yassar? Okay, behave yourselves. Yeah? So aren't we friends? Let me go, please. Yeah, well, I'll have to see first. We'll see soon. So now, let me welcome you. Come on. What happened to you? Tell me, what was it that Munir offered you, huh? It was nothing. Do not lie to me now. So you got nothing in return, huh? All right. All right, Yassar. Munir doesn't care about you. Do you know that? Do you know that he forgot what he promised? Did you get any money then, huh? I don't think that you did. You didn't get a cent. Because Munir doesn't even have a penny. The Yasserans don't have any money left at all. But you know that, don't you? Yes, I've heard. Yeah, you've heard. You pity yourself. Now you're alone like me. I hope you can figure it all out. Come on, go in now. Go. Let's move, move, go, move, go. move. Thanks. No, 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 no. I thank you, Mr. Bahadir. Please. Well, we hope to see you again. Thank you very much. My friend over there will see you out. Oh, I didn't come by my car. I'll take a taxi. Okay. Thanks again. Rashad? Tell me, what are you doing all the way over here? We said, why don't we follow Munir around today? <laughs> what for? What happened? Is all my money now a foreign exchange, Munir? What are you talking about? What do you mean? The money that you have been collecting from everyone for Rasad. Farahan, do you feel all right? I have a lot to do. I'm preparing for trial. You give that to me. Are you crazy, Rasat? What on earth do you think you're doing, huh? It's my money. Give it or I'll break your arm now. What the hell are you talking about? Don't lie to us, Munir. We know that you got money for Rasat from businessmen, and now you're trying to keep it for yourself. It's a lie. Who told you this? I called all of them up. I did. I know how much money they gave you. Ah! I cannot believe what you're saying. Are you crazy now? But I I'm working for you, idiot. I'm working for you. I am so ashamed. How could you even think of doing this? Because I'm trying to pay off all of our debt. Oh, shut up now. You listen to me for a second, and it is not your money. Get out of my life right now. You are an immoral man. Wait, listen, listen to me. Rasat, Rasat, you're making a giant mistake. Munir. I can call. The police, or shall I call a lawyer instead? Let's call and have a nice talk about this money and where it came from. What do you say, huh? I'm ashamed of you, Munir. Why are you ashamed of me? Why do you say that? I'm the last person right now that you should be ashamed of. 
You're selfish. I don't want to see you again, Munir. You earned so much money thanks to me, but that wasn't enough for you. Hi, Melton. I'm very sorry, but I think we have to delay our plans for tonight. Where are you going this time? To Moscow. I'll be back in two days. Okay. I promise that we'll make another plan when I'm back. Well, you're at home for two days, and then you spend three days abroad. Please don't talk like that. I'm very sorry. It's not a problem. I'm just in love with a man who's in love with his job. It's okay. And I know that that man is in love with you. Look, I'm missing you so very much. Can you please come to visit me tonight? I will get all of my clothes packed, but I want to see you. So what time? How about half past eight? The plane will take off at 11, so I'll leave my house at nine, and I'll be at the airport by 10 then. Okay. I'll be there at half past eight. Okay. I'll see you, dear. Yes, see you then. Welcome. You're wearing that to the airport? No. Come. Has your flight been changed? You said you were packing your clothes. I brought a hamburger for you because I thought you had no time. Are we celebrating something? Uh, if you give me the answer I want, then we'll celebrate. saying what do you say <laughs> so Melton will you please be my wife <sighs> I know you've been through some very hard times and I know that it's difficult for you to trust someone but I am not the wrong man Melton I hope that you will let me make you happy. <laughs> I want to hear you say yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. 